you're doing carnivore wrong collagen edition but before i get into that i want to call all my ladies that are looking for thinner toned arms where you burn fat for fuel and energy revealing lean a muscle mass uh-huh i can show you now I released over 50 pounds over five years ago, and I am burning, I'm still burning fat for fuel and energy. My body recomposition is real. Um, never stepped foot in a gym. I don't lift heavy, never counted a calorie or a macro, never weighed food. I don't meal prep, none of that BS. So if you're interested in learning how you can eat a real nutrient dense diet, Remember, diet is what you eat, not for weight loss. Um, how you can release over 50 pounds and not have a turkey neck, not have a lot of loose skin, and burn fat for fuel and energy. I started this process when I was 56 years old. I will be 62 on September 5th. Okay, but anyway, check it out. Check it out. Anyhow, let's get into it. Carnivores ought to be ashamed of yourself. Because if anyone should be getting good collagen, it should, be, it should be you. But unfortunately, carnivores are still lacking when it comes to collagen. Here goes. Remember, I'm here to break systems. I'm here to break change, make you free, you know, break bondage, okay? Break chains in the way you're thinking and help you to unlearn and rethink. But anyhow, I have my notes. Okay. Collagen, in case you didn't know, only comes from animal sources. There is zero, no source of vegetarian or vegan collagen. It just does not exist. We're going to get into the misconception in a minute. Okay, so collagen comes from parts of the animal like bones, cartilage, skin, tendons, ligaments. Okay, from cattle, which is called bovine, porcine, which is from pigs, and fish, which is marine. And they all kind of offer slightly different types of collagen and benefits. Bovine um, is a good source of collagen peptides extracted from the bones, hides, connective tissue of cows, and other species like um, bison and water buffalo. Fish, of course, is marine collagen extracted from the skin and scales, but also fish have bones and collagen, I mean, in connective tissue as well. Um, pigs, like um, cattle, have bones and connective tissue, right? Chicken. So these are things carnivores eat. So why are you guys deficient in collagen? Right? You can also get collagen from foods like bone broth. You can get collagen from things like ribs that are cooked on the bone, right? Slow cooked meats you can get collagen from. You can chew that gristly part on the meat that is collagen. Your, your oxtails, that sticky part on the um, cow neck and the, um, the cow feet, yeah, that's collagen. But see, y'all don't eat that. Y'all don't eat that. You eat ground beef, you eat a lot of bacon, um, you eat ribeyes, but you don't eat meat on the bone. Up, upgrade, up, 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 upgrade your, your eating, your eats. Okay, so you would think carnivorians get good collagen because they're eating meat. They're eating the source that collagen comes from. But I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Right? Because collagen doesn't come in um, ground beef. It's not in bacon. There is a little bit in your pork rinds. But y'all don't eat collagen-rich food. And it's a shame because you're carnivore. All you eat is meat. And you're still deficient. But anywho. Now, many people believe that the carnivorean, carnivore for short, don't need vitamin C. Right? And technically, you should not need vitamin C um, because you're eating a low-carbohydrate diet. So the vitamin C intake 
for a carnivore is lower because the vitamin C does not have to compete with carbs or glucose because they both take the same pathway for absorption. So without the carbs or the glucose, you require less vitamin C. Okay? I agree with that. However, however, carnivores should get vitamin C. There is a way for carnivores to get adequate and efficient vitamin C, but y'all ain't getting that either. Why? You, because you don't really eat organ meat. You're not getting, a, you're not getting enough out of those little tiny um, organ meat capsules. You're not. But anyway, if you ate beef spleen, you know, liver, beef liver, pork liver, you ate seafood like fish roe and oysters and mussel meat, um, freshly cooked, gently cooked or raw. So y'all don't eat no raw meat. You cook your food like um, shoe leather is brown all the way in. Carnivores, y'all need to up your game because y'all eat like crap. A lot of you. You're missing the nutrients because many of y'all are going for the weight loss. You're missing the whole picture, okay? You're missing the picture. You're missing the picture. But anyhow, um, now let me tell you, whether or not you need more vitamin C depends on where you are in life and what your ultimate goal is. Now, many carnivores like, I'm not carnivore. I eat carnivore, but I'm not carnivore. But many women like me, more mature women, need vitamin C because our, our bodies are breaking down and losing collagen. So I eat collagen, but I also need vitamin C to um, maintain collagen, to increase collagen. Col vitamin C boosts collagen production by acting as an essential cofactor for enzymes involved in collagen synthesis, okay, which is needed for healthy skin, bone, cartilage, and other tissues. Y'all know I always say carnivores' skin looks bad, hair looks bad, nails look bad. Look how much my nails have grown um, because you need vitamin C. Now, I know y'all don't take vitamin C, but depending on what your goals are, if you want healthy skin, you want to activate the enzymes in vitamin C, I mean, in collagen, you need to take vitamin C, okay? Vitamin C is necessary, once again, it's a cofactor for enzymes that produce and stabilize new collagen, right, which is the body's most abundant protein. It helps activate um, the genes responsible for collagen synthesis, increasing overall production which is, of this vital protein. It acts as an antioxidant. Vitamin C neutralizes free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage collagen fibers and DNA. By promoting healthy collagen formation, vitamin C helps accelerate the healing of skin cuts, injuries, and scars. It helps restore skin's firmness and elasticity by supporting collagen, the collagen network. Without enough collagen, the body can lose elasticity and strength. Okay, um, benefits of increased collagen. Increased collagen helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, brightens skin tone, and lessens discoloration. Collagen is essential for the strength and repair of bones, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, and blood vessels. And a healthy collagen network supports the structure of the epidermis, epidermis and keeps the skin hydrated. So, while technically carnivores don't need a lot of vitamin C, honestly, you need vitamin C. Vitamin C only helps collagen synthesis and collagen production and the utilization of collagen. I'm just, I, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you that if you're going to be carnivore, you need to eat the foods that not only increase collagen, collagen itself, but you need to eat the things that give you vitamin C in your carnivore lifestyle. If not, you need to add vitamin C.
That's it. That's the post. Make today the best day ever. Like, comment, follow, and share. Save this video for a future reference. Love you. Later.